two stage pumps. Run them in pressure mode. Two stage fire pumps should be run in pressure mode most of the time, not in volume mode. They should be transferred over to volume mode when pumping more than 70% of the capacity of the pump. Here's why. In volume mode, a two-stage pump is functionally a single-stage pump. A single-stage pump is only efficient at or near its rated capacity. A two-stage pump in pressure mode will flow up to 70% of its rated capacity more efficiently than a single-stage pump. Because fire department pumps don't operate at the rated capacity and pressure all the time, the two-stage pump provides us with an efficiency advantage. In fact, most of the time, our pumps are used only at a fraction of their rated capacity. Most fires are extinguished with one hand line flowing about 475 liters per minute. When pumping in volume mode, the pump needs to spin at a higher RPM than in pressure mode. When pumping 475 liters a minute at 620 kPa, pressure mode requires 760 RPM, while volume mode requires 1060 RPM, an increase of almost 40%. Single stage pumps are not designed to produce high pressures. In fact, to produce 475 liters a minute at 1400 kPa in volume mode, the pump would need to spin faster than it would to produce 5500 liters a minute at 1000 kPa. At the speed required to produce 475 liters a minute at 1400 kPa, the impeller wants to flow in excess of 4,900 liters per minute. But the nozzle at the end of the hose is limiting the flow through the impeller to 475 liters a minute. This results in an extreme amount of turbulence inside the pump, as the water leaving the impeller has no place to go. This turbulence generates heat, and this heating results in recirculation cavitation, which can quickly destroy a centrifugal pump. The higher the RPM, the more horsepower it develops, which does several things. One, the excess horsepower is converted into heat energy in the water inside the pump. Two, the engine burns more fuel. And three, there is additional wear and tear on the truck. Let's deal with each of these three points individually. Number one, if the water gets too hot, catastrophic pump failure is imminent. When there is lower engine RPM, there is significantly less heat buildup, which means that our pump is at less risk of overheating. Number two, while pumping 8,000 liters a minute, our quints have emptied a full tank of fuel in two hours. The less fuel we burn, the longer we can pump at a fire without refueling. And this obviously will cost less money as well. Number three, running the engine faster than necessary results in additional wear and tear on the engine, chassis, transmission, and driveline components. These are solidly built trucks, but no one wants their rig in the shop for preventable service and repairs. Here's the how part. Leave your pump in pressure mode as your default setting. Every day at the beginning of your shift, check to make sure the transfer valve is in pressure mode. For the vast majority of your pump operations, the pump will stay in pressure mode the whole time. When you reach 70% of the capacity of the pump, change over to volume mode. How will you know? When your truck is unable to push enough water and you still have residual pressure on your intake gauge, it's time to change over to volume mode. Bottom line, run them in pressure mode.